Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to a new video. And today I'm going to take you to the best bookstore to find American comic books and movie posters in central Tokyo. It's very close to Shinjuku. So if you like the video, put a like, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. Let's explore. Okay, they have a lot of comic books everywhere, as you can see. YouTube, all in English. First, we got some uh, Daredevil. Let's take a look. Right there. So, number 175, 180, 160, 189. Here we have 206. Just some scratches on the book. I don't think they have older than that. I mean, Daredevil is definitely making a comeback in the Marvel Universe. So it's going to be a book to definitely look at. Two ninety nine, and then so on. They have some bubbles as well. About eighty dollars. Same here, hundred dollars. Look at that. We get some Avengers three thirty three. Number fifteen, the Marvel Saga. Oh, the Thunderbolt. Actually, this one is number one so I don't know I don't think it's worth a lot but can always check it out about 3,000 yen I think it's the first appearance of the Thunderbolt more their level some Black Panther this is from I'm not sure Oh, okay, this is part two of five. Ah, right, the Ninja Turtles. These are pretty cool. Walking Dead. Sorry, the music is very, very loud. Maybe some ninja to it. Number 14. I need to look what is up in Japanese. It looks cool. This is from, as you can see, 1990. I can definitely buy that, it's quite cheap as well. Oh, I'm gonna take a look. Not too expensive. Captain mm. Marvel. Yeah, a bit expensive as well. You found some uh, Superboy actually. That's pretty cool, right here. From this one is from like uh, it says 1949 oh, when it started, but this one number 30 it's 1956. That is pretty cool. It sells for about like a bit less than 50 dollars. But to be honest, you can see uh, in Japanese right there, it's like uh, there are a lot of damages. Plus, I think there's some someone wrote on it. Uh, it's pretty cool though, but it has a lot of. Yeah, I don't think, I mean, it's pretty cool, I don't know if I'll buy it, but from 1956, that's pretty, pretty damn cool. And then we got another one, uh, this one is 155, 52 pages, this one is number 30, and then we got 217 adventure comics, oh, it's pretty pretty nice but maybe maybe not today 
I'm looking to buy a bit like less expensive comics today. <laughs> And I got, we got more here. So again, the music is very cool, very, very, very loud. Um, got some list of miracles. Green Lantern. Plastic Man. These are all like the DCs. Some cool Archie comics. Uh, number 57 from 1952. Uh, some police comics. And those ones are old, man. These are pretty, that's some gems. Number 116. Nothing gem. Oh, candy comics as well. Number 21. Wow, it's cost about ten dollars. Really cool stuff. And some Avengers. Uh, Iron Man. Number 192. It's about four bucks. Not that bad, but I mean. Not that value, not, not very valuable at that point. We got some, uh, so Iron Man again, so number nine, which is pretty cool. That is nice, but as you can see, I mean, it's in Katakana, but it's really damaged. Someone read, uh, wrote on the book as well. I mean, you can look at the, it looks, yeah, it looks like kind of in bad condition. It's probably like a three or a two. Uh, same for number eight. It looks in bad shape. Like really bad shape. Four. Uh, still $45. If it was a little bit less, I would have bought them. But uh, pretty cool one. It was very old as well. So this one is a Tale of Suspense. So before they did, you know, Iron Man. Uh, it's about five, $50. This one is very damaged as well, like probably like a three or maybe less. Um, no, 141, well, it's in perfect condition. Another uh, tale of suspense. I think they only have two here, but also, as you can see, kind of in bad condition. Iron Man 11. Also, someone wrote on the book, which is kind of a shame. I think someone like maybe they had a kid and then just wrote them on every on every book. Twenty four, same thing. Thirty one, same thing. Someone wrote on it. Not bad. Captain America and the Falcon. Got some adventures. Fantastic Four. Right here, one twenty. And we got Captain Marvel number one actually. That's really nice. Um, this one is uh, 1994. So it started in 1999, but 1984. Oh, they have a second one, also a number one. But it's a bit expensive. Like It's like $40 and probably worth like 20 I mean, the first, I mean, they put two books. But I mean, if there's a TV show maybe on the new Captain Marvel, um, that we might see in Marvel, like the second Marvel movie. Why not? But I'm not sure. Uh, X Factor, the return poor badge. We got the Defender number nine. It, it is priced at uh, $28. Well, it doesn't look in great condition. Maybe like a five, six. The Incredible Oak. Oh, it's very expensive, yes. About sixty dollars. She Hulk. Oh, number four. Ooh, interesting. Number six, seven, eight, thirty-two, thirty-five. Ah, okay. Ooh, we got number two. 
So that's interesting. It's only eight dollars. That's probably like a fair price. Good condition. So probably it looks really nice. Probably like an eight or a nine. Probably like an eight. I'll say that. I'm thinking about that. And also we have also a Disney series, uh, Vision and Scarlet Witch. A bit more expensive, like because it's number one. Uh, I guess number one for. Thirty dollars? Yeah, why not? Looks in good condition. I'm gonna think about that. Okay, maybe let's go upstairs and also sh like show you my store. You have a lot of a lot of movie posters and all that over there. So let me show you. Look here, they have a lot of like uh, movie posters so in Japanese. Names of actors, that's really cool. Like movies from you know, Brad Pitt, uh, Tom Hanks, Al Pacino, De Niro, Schwarzenegger, Terminator, uh, $2. Bruce Willis, they have some James Bond over there, Golden Eye. Star Wars, uh, Deadpool, some like very old magazines where you can see Monsters and the Heroes. I'm trying to be a bit quiet in the store. Oh, look at this cool things! Kind of cool poster from Lord of the Ring. About ten dollars from two thousand and two. They have those posters from the 70s, 90s, 80s, maybe even 60s in Japanese, and that's really cool. It's about like, I think each poster is about six, seven dollars. Not each, okay, some posters. They even have some Miley Monroe for ranging from like 20 to 50 dollars. In Japanese, all the magazines. Pretty awesome. Cool thing right now is that they have a lot of detective comics. Um, this one is 381, and of course, Batman is right now uh, in the movie theater, so some of the comic books right now are worth quite a lot. Uh, some are in good condition, so for example this one, 381 it's about $25, but online it's worth, it depends on eBay, worth like maybe $100, this one is in good condition, if you grade it, you can easily sell, and sell it for, for quite a bit, some Batman as well, they have a lot of cool Batman 221, uh, the only thing is just not in the best of conditions. The Gipsy 340, 458, 462. Yeah, I might buy it maybe, maybe just one for my collection. Because some of them are a bit expensive, like between ranging from 20 to 60 dollars. And that's a bit much to be honest because I don't know like I cannot open the book I don't know really the, the, the main condition so if it's in good condition or not uh, so I'm going to take a look